so I might have bought some more books. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so this is actually going to be part one of two. I have probably almost a hundred books that I've bought. In. And so I have another order coming. <laughs> But I have two boxes to show you guys today. We're going to jump into it. It's a bunch of random stuff, as these hauls normally are. Things that I've heard of from other booktubers, things I've just seen online, stuff that just speaks to me in the moment, that needs to go in my cart and come home with me. A lot of nonfiction this time, a lot of self-motivational books. I'm in a season of wanting to make myself better. So you'll see that in these boxes. So Let's go ahead and dive into the first box sitting here on my lap. The first couple that I picked up is Little Black Book, A Toolkit for Working Women. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. I actually saw this book on Books in Lala. She was talking about it. I think it's just a really quick little, yeah, like handout of things to do for women that are working, like a workplace white collar type handbook super short thought I'd pick it up you never know next I picked up something a little bit different this is something I think is going to be really interesting to read um, but this is Holocaust poetry by a selection of authors you guys can see and this is compiled and introduced by Hidla Chef Sheaf apologies if I'm saying that wrong but this is Something that really interested me, something that I thought would be really different, probably hard to read to be honest, but yeah, this I thought would be really great. This volume includes 119 poems and the voices of 59 poets. So I don't think these are by people necessarily that were in the Holocaust because they're Sylvia, Sylvia Plath, um, but I think they're more people just kind of paying tribute to it. So again, something I was super interested in and wanted to pick up. Next, another one that's a little bit random for me, and I'm not sure when I'm going to get to this, I'm going to be honest, but I picked up The Essential Feminist Reader. This is like a textbook. Again, I really don't know when I'm going to read this, but I want to pick up stuff that I've mentioned in other unboxings that expand my reading, expand my knowledge of the world. The guineas agree. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so this I thought would be really interesting. Again, it's pretty textbook heavy from the little bit that I flipped through it, but maybe someday at some point this could be something I could flip through and uh, be pretty interesting. Next, another couple more shorter nonfiction that I was interested in. This one is the uh, Just Babies, The Origins of Good and Evil by Paul Bloom. This I really thought sounded interesting. This is essentially talking about people and their roles of whether goodness and badness is something people are born with. For example, Hitler, nature versus nurture, and it's a pretty short read and I thought it'd be pretty interesting to check out. Another nonfiction I have is Reader Come Home, The Reading Brain in a Digital World by Marianne Wolfe. This, again, another nonfiction that seemed pretty interesting to me. I know and I'm going to totally blank on her name. There's a YouTuber right now that's doing a lot of digital like cleansing books. I'll put her name right here um, that I know is really interesting that I've watched a couple of her videos about this. So I thought this would be pretty cool. This is essentially talking about how reading transforms our thoughts and emotions as a species, becoming increasingly dependent on digital reading, however, um, how that's connecting to like our society and how that's been changing things. So definitely something interesting that I want to pick up. Getting into a little bit more random, more fiction style stuff, I picked up two classics. One is this beautiful 30th anniversary edition of Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Super popular book. I know a lot of people read this in middle school, particularly a lot of guys. I think this may be assigned reading for some people, but I saw this. It's been on my list for years. And I did actually start reading this a while ago, ended up either returning the book or I think I might have had an ebook that I had to return. And I just thought this looked really beautiful and thought this would be a cool addition to have on my shelves. Another giant classic, which God knows when I'm ever going to get to this, is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. This is a chunk of a book and uh, it's just pretty. And it's the 75th anniversary of 
I think this book, which makes sense, right? Yeah. So I just picked this up, thought it would be cool to have in my collection. To be honest, I really don't know when I'm going to end up ever reading it, but it's pretty. Do you like how I try to justify my purchases? Me too. Next, some more random stuff we have in here. This is a book I picked up last year, I believe, and really, really was obsessed with it. So I saw they had a copy on Book Outlet and wanted to grab it. This is I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lawhorn. This is a really interesting book about a woman who is supposedly believed to be the long lost Anastasia Romanoff and her life and how that dictates it, comparing and contrasting that with the life of the actual Anastasia Romanoff. It is a fictional book. It's really, really good. The ending is interesting, but again, it's one of those books that I just keep thinking about over time and I just really wanted to have a copy, maybe so in the future I can do a reread. And it's just a really interesting book and I love the Romanoffs, so I thought this would be cool to have in my collection. Another super random one is The Little Book of Life Hacks, How to Make Your Life Happier, Healthier, and More Beautiful by Yumi Sakajua pardon me if I'm saying that incorrectly, but this is just a really super cute kind of, oh, like graphic novel. I did not realize that's what it was, like on the inside of just things, I guess, to make your life a little better. Super cute. There you go. Love that. Speaking of other graphic novel, I have, again, another bit of a random purchase. This is Captive Hearts of Oz. This is a manga. I actually don't read manga. I've actually started getting into graphic novels a little bit this year for the first time ever and so kind of have started slowly delving into manga. Manga. I really don't think it's going to be my full cup of tea but I have a couple that I've picked up recently that I want to try out and I love The Wizard of Oz so I thought this would be a pretty cool one to try. Alright. Pushing through quickly because there's still a whole other box to get to. I got the I Am an Emotional Creature by Eve Esner. This is, again, another kind of feminist type literary book that I wanted to pick up. It was really highly claimed on Goodreads. And I'm just, again, trying to broaden my horizons here, people. I'm trying to do what I can to learn about the world and better myself. So that's what we're trying to do over here. So that's why I picked this one up. Don't really know much about it, gotta be honest. <laughs> um, another one that I picked up, again, nonfiction, is Titanic, The Death and Life of a Legend by M Michael Davey. This is a part of history that I am fascinated with, mainly because this happened on my birthday, April 14th, and the Titanic is something that's always intrigued me. The Titanic movie, one of my favorites. I've watched countless documentaries on this uh, event in history and just am super fascinated by it. So picked this one up, thought it would be really great. And uh, yeah, nonfiction, I believe. Yes, nonfiction, uh, journalists investigating the events, controversies, and legends that have surrounded the disaster. There you go. For more random nonfiction, I will work through these pretty quickly. I have Sex with Kings, 500 Years of Adultery, Power, Rivalry, and Revenge by Eleanor Herman. Really no explanation for this other than this just sounded hilarious, funny. It's about pretty much what it sounds like, Sex with Kings, and women that took advantage of that to gain power in royal courts. Pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have a... Uh, biography? No. Uh, yes, biography of Pocahontas. Again, another person in history I am fascinated with. And this is Pocahontas by Paula Gunn Allen. Her, yeah, I guess would say a biography of talking about um, her... Oh, I didn't realize. So this is the extraordinary story of a beloved Indian maiden from a, new, a Native American perspective. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that. So this author, Dr. Paula Allen Paula Gunn Allen, pardon me, is the acknowledged founder of the Native American Literary Studies. Wow, okay, that's super cool. So definitely gonna check this out. This is, adds a whole new um, flavor to this, which I'm really excited about, love that. Okay, and the last two that I picked up in the first box from my book outlet order is The I Factor by Van Moody. This I've heard a ton of people talking about. It's just, again, a self-help book that I wanted to pick up and uh, see if it would help me. And the other one is a bit interesting, so bear with me. This is The Other Side of Desire 
Four Journeys into the Dark Bar Realms of Lust and Longing by Daniel Bergner. I have no explanation for this. I really don't. It's short, it should be weird and interesting, and I don't know why I picked it up, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even going to try and pick up the second box. We're just going to pull things out of it and have a great time. First couple bucks from the box is Red Scarf Girl, a memoir of cultural revolution. This, I believe, is a memoir from a girl growing up in China, communist China. Um, thought this would be really interesting. Again, expanding my horizons. We've covered this in several other books. Just thought it would be interesting. Then we have the 21 Day Consciousness Cleanse, a breakthrough program for connecting with your soul's deepest purpose by Debbie Ford. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to, it's 2020. I'm taking what I can to make myself feel like this year isn't a total disaster and a dumpster fire, like I think we all have. So there's that. Then I also picked up Night Books by J.A. White. I really don't know too much about this. I've seen this pop up though a couple times on both Goodreads and Booktube and thought this just looked really cute and spooky. I believe this is definitely a middle grade and it's about a boy that sneaks out in like is part of a book. Maybe. Let's see. Loved scary stories. Now he's trapped in one. Dun dun dun. Might end up getting to this hopefully in October if I can because it seems a little bit spooky. Really quick running through a couple more just self-help books. I kind of went on a self-help spree. I got Calm the F Down by Sarah Knight. This is how to control what you can and accept what you can't so you can stop freaking out and get on with your life. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> then I also got the Self-Acceptance Project, How to Be Kind and Compassionate Towards Yourself in Any Situation. Love that. Then I got You Are Not a Rock by Mark Freeman, a step-by-step -step guide to better mental health for humans. Love the illustration and also bigger than I thought it would be. Another nonfiction one that I picked up after seeing the incredible movie that I highly recommend. This is Adrift, a true story of love, loss, and survival at sea. This movie is amazing. I highly recommend it. Want to read the book now so obsessed can't talk about it enough the s just please it seems boring it's not it's so good pick it up speaking of another book that's about to be turned into a movie this is words on bathroom walls this is by julia walton i believe this is a kid oh yeah that has schizophrenia the movie's coming out pretty soon and thought this would be cool to read before seeing the movie because it looked really interesting and uh yeah not much else to say. Another expansion of the mind. This is talking to my daughter about the economy or how capitalism works and how it's how it fails by Yanis Varkoski. Again, I tend to sit very in the middle on things politically, so I like getting things from both sides of the spectrum, hence picking up something about the economy, which uh, or capitalism, which to be honest, uh, my knowledge of which is limited, so I thought this would be a pretty uh, straightforward, digestible read. Another self-help one that I picked up, this is The Courage to be Disliked, the Japanese phenomenon that shows you how to change your life and achieve real happiness. Super cute. I like short self-help books. Always a fan of that. Under or around 300 pages is the preference. Then I got a fiction one, which I thought sounded really cool. This one is How It Feels to Float by Helena Fox. This had amazing reviews on Goodreads and just seemed like a sad, but really touching, beautiful story about a girl who, let's see, her dad had died when she was seven, but she, I think, can't or like hasn't realized that he's gone. Something kind of along those lines. I don't really want to know too much going into it, but thought this sounded beautiful. Two kind of random things I picked up because Book Outlet has more than just actual books. This is a art folds book that apparently can make this heart design if you fold the pages down. Thought this would be really cute for Valentine's Day to decorate my shelves with. Go figure. We'll see if it actually ends up happening. <laughs> and then I also got this really cool ballet journal. 
that just has these kind of painted designs of ballerinas on it because I need a journal, another one like I need a hole in my head. Justification. What are you gonna do? Couple more really random nonfiction. I got Born to Fly, the first women's air race across America by Steve Shiken. I believe this talks about, let's see, Amelia Earhart, Marvel Crossin, and Louise Thaden. There we go. Love that idea. Another, <laughs> I got a lot of nonfiction, I told you guys. Another nonfiction is Being a Beast by Charles Foster, The Adventures Across the Species Divide. This, I believe, is a guy who, yes, chooses to live like a badger, a fox, an otter, a deer, and a shift. Swift and a swift. He lives alongside badgers for weeks, eating earthworms and learning to sense the landscape by smell rather than by sight. This will be interesting. I'll keep you guys posted on how this one goes. A couple more whimsical books that I picked up, more children's based. This is Box, which is a graphic novel that I picked up. This is just super short and cute and just thought this one looked adorable. And uh, yeah, just again, picking up more graphic novels. And then I also got, I used to love these books as a kid, the Rosemary Wells um, Ruby and Max books. I was obsessed with these as a kid. So this is Ruby's Beauty Shop. So trying to collect nostalgic books from my childhood as the time goes on. So this is definitely one of them. Okay. Two more nonfiction. I promise I didn't just only buy nonfiction. This is The Fortune Cookie Chronicles Adventures in the World of Chinese Food by Jennifer Lee. This I believe just chronicles the um, adventures of Chinese restaurants interviewing legendary restaurants, uh, the origins of the fortune cookie. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Random, I know, but still, I like reading things about really obscure topics. I think they're really fun books to read. Like, uh, Careful, A User's Guide to Our Injury Prone Minds by Steve Kasser. This is why people are clumsy. Me, myself, being a clumsy person, thought this would be great to read. All right, guys, we're almost done. I'm going to flash through these pretty quickly because there's not much to say about them. I picked up The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. I saw Books and Lala reading about this. This is a girl who is on a spaceship by herself. I think everyone either dies or is asleep. And then she starts communicating with a person from another ship. This seemed really good. The ending La Lala said was pretty interesting. So I'll be intrigued to see what I think of it. I also have Around the World in 80 Novels, A Global Journey Inspired by Writers from Every Continent by Henry Russell. This seems pretty interesting and I thought this would be kind of cool to kind of go through and maybe pick up some books that are inspired by this. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments below. I thought that would be kind of cool. All right. If you can hear them in the background, I did pick up My Guinea Pigs. This is just a book that I thought would be kind of cute. It's like an infographic type style book, probably more geared towards children, but I've had My Guinea Pigs now for a couple months and thought this would be cool to see if there's any other tips and tricks that I haven't learned from YouTube or the internet. And uh, yeah, the guineas are doing well. Check out some of my newest videos if you want to see how they're doing. Or just take a listen. <laughs> They're noisy little buggers. All right, one last nonfiction one that I picked up. This is Inside Black Mirror. I think this one basically goes behind the scenes of the show that they did. I'm really into the Black Mirror show. I think it's really interesting and thought the behind the scenes would be pretty cool to read about. So uh, yeah, wanted to give this one a little read. We're almost done. <laughs> I also picked up the Hummingbird book, which is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is essentially, oh wow, just talking about hummingbirds and their uh, lifestyle. I have a bunch of birds that live in my backyard. I have a hummingbird feeder, so they come around a lot. I like learning, like I said, a lot of things about a lot of random topics. Hummingbirds and animals being one such thing. <laughs> And then one of the last books that I got before I show you, this is a huge book, the sets that I got. This is something that looks so beautiful. This is Fairy Tales by Brian and Wendy Fjord. Look how stunning this is. It's huge and it's heavy, but I just thought, oh yeah, 
yeah 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 look at how i love books like this where they have like painted bios of different oh my gosh look how beautiful this is like i love stuff like this i think it's so pretty and so cool so this is beautiful this is the yeah they enchanted realm of individual fairies each with a story to tell i just think this is so cool and beautiful i love stuff like this i will be reading it very shortly i guarantee you okay and the last three things that i got from book outlet are book sets now I love all three of these sets. I'm so excited about these three sets. The first one is the Complete Little Women's Collection by Louise May Alcott. This is the full collection of Little Women's Stories by her, and I read the Little Women's Story earlier this year and loved it, so I wanted to read the rest of the books in her series and just thought these editions looked absolutely beautiful, so I wanted to pick them up. And the last two things that I got were a bit random, but they are two parts of the Alice series by Phyllis Raylan, Ray Nolds Naylor. And this is her first three books, which is uh, starting with Alice, Alice in Blunderland, and Lovingly Alice in this super cute box collection. And then I also got her high school and beyond which concludes four bind ups of 12 books <laughs> which are these which I'm very excited to read I will be honest I did think they were the original like separate books so I'm a little bummed that they're bind ups but I'll get over it I like that they have the bind ups together makes it easier to store in this beautiful box love it all right, friends, so that is everything that I got in my most recent book outlet order. Like I mentioned, there will be a part two to this because I placed another order today of more books. <laughs> it's fine. So uh, yeah, let me know if there's any books that you recommend me trying out from this haul down in the comments below, or if you've read any of these books, your thoughts about them. I love talking to you guys in the comments. It is my favorite. Give this video a thumbs up if you love book unboxings. Subscribe to see more of my face. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.